Camera Usage Today, let's learn how to use Eggy code to create various camera effects. For example, like the surveillance camera in the Who's Rotten. After clicking a button, you can switch to other view. We can use Eggy code to achieve a similar effect. First, we need to drag out an interface widget and set its click event to cam. Then, we open Eggy code. Drag out the event block receives interface event. And here we receive the cam event we just filled in. Next, drag out the action block sets camera position, where you can set the camera position of the player to the position of an existing unit. Here, we use an invisible block as the reference for this camera position. Now, we have formed a surveillance-like view. If we want to switch back to the original camera, we can create an exit button widget. When sending the exit cam event, use the block sets camera mode to change player 1E's camera mode to track mode. This way, the player's camera will return above Eggy. Besides setting up a static surveillance camera, we can also use Eggy code to move the camera. In the action blocks, drag out, lock camera movement to. Locking the camera of a certain player to move to a moving object, the camera will follow the movement of the object. We can drag out an invisible block, add motion along waypoints to it. In the motion settings interface, we can change the path style using curved line interpolation. It makes the movement smoother. If we need not just camera movement, but also want it to rotate the camera angle on its own, we can use lock camera rotation, which lets the camera rotate following the unit's rotation. If we want the camera movement process to be more immersive, we can set the player's camera to be undraggable by the player, and the camera will be completely locked. After mastering camera movement, we can create cinematic performances in the map.